Listen, before that 2022 college football season, we hadn't seen Tariq Nelson at his physical best since his leukemia diagnosis, and it's been a long time coming for Tariq. Now he's not only hitting his peak as a player, but as a person too. Tariq, bro, good to see you, man. Good to see you too, man. How you been? Been good, actually, like great. <laughs> I was going through some of your accolades uh, over the fall and high GPA, Dean's List, all conference selection. It's been a really good time to be Tariq Nelson. <laughs> yeah, like a real good time, definitely. Um, that was the first time I was very excited about that. I've never, you know, I've never been on Dean's List, so. And you've come a, such a long way academically from where you started. Definitely. Uh, so. Yeah, my first semester was rough. Like, I came up here, no guidance, you know, just a little. I came back from being sick, so 1.6. Like, it was 1. 6 top, GPA. top 1.6. So, from my freshman year to now, I done got my GPA up to a solid 3.0. I'm trying to finish with a 3.5. What was the conversation with your mom like when you told her you made Dean's List? She was very excited. Um, She's like, da -da 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 -da. she's like, oh. We made a D's list. Call my phone immediately. I said, I did. I didn't even know yet. I did. I didn't even check yet. I'm like, okay, thank you. Also, I didn't. I forgot about this one. I got a little brother now. Really? Yes. Yes. So I What's really his got his name. Yes. Is it three? Yes. <laughs> wow. You know man. that? Yeah. Definitely spelled the same way as mine too. So he's gonna grow up, and like he's gonna know your story. Yeah. Have you had a realization of, of how important life is outside of football? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Right now, I'm a double minor. So I minor in, I'm a major in communication, I minor in coaching, and now I minor in hospitality and tourism. So I want to be that example. So he's like, yeah, my big brother do this, and my big brother do that. I want to be just like my big brother. So that's the goals right now. That's why I got to keep my grades up. Just not an example for my football team, but now I'm my little brother too. So. Is trying to be a high character person. When you're probably doing stuff, getting out of bed that you don't really want to do, right. do you think about that 16 year old kid that had that leukemia diagnosis? Oh, yeah, for sure. And they don't let me forget it either. That 16 year old me always, I'm back like, hey, like, come on, this is what you wanted, right? This is what you asked for, right? So, one thing I read something, it was like, God always gonna give you blessings, but it may not be the way you want it. It's just blessings that I'm asking for and just. I know I got to work hard and complete the blessings that I wanted. So this, yeah. is, this is what I asked for. I got to work hard to get it. You got a lot to be proud of. I appreciate you. Thank you, man. Yes, sir. Appreciate the time. Yes, sir. So the end goal, obviously, on the field for Tariq is to play professional football, whether that's in Canada, in the XFL. Obviously, the NFL is a big dream. But off the field, he wants to go back home to New York City and he wants to talk to people that struggle with cancer. He wants to be an advocate for those people because he's been through it himself and obviously coming out the other side. Yeah, quite an inspiration for so many, not only here in Western New York, but of course downstate as well where he's from. James, what a great update for us. Thank you very much.